They're in, they're in meltdown. And, and just remember, Jake Tapper had to tweet out earlier today that President Trump had a 49% approval rating, highest rating he's had. Uh, you talked about 50% GOP rating. These numbers are scaring them to death when they watch the meltdown that had in Iowa. Uh, what a contrast. A party that cannot run an election. I mean, you could probably pay some college kids with a case of beer to write an app to count votes for less than 200,000 people. They couldn't pull it off last night. And so now they want to run the country. Uh, they want to make a case when President Trump lists all the accomplishments. Like Matt said, these are real accomplishments that are benefiting every family that was left behind, the millions of people, the working men and women that Washington had left behind, Republican and Democrat alike, that President Trump reached out to four years ago. They showed up and voted for him, and they're going to show up again in November to reelect this president because he's delivered on his promises. He this this president, more than anybody, Laura, cares so much about law enforcement, our men and women in uniform. He rebuilt our military at a time, keep this in mind, when President Trump took office, we had more men and women in uniform dying from training exercises more than combat missions by a five to one margin flying on a plane training at an American military base you had a higher likelihood of dying than being in Afghanistan he fixed it when that when that soldier walked in and, and his wife and kids were there there wasn't a dry eye on the house but but to watch Democrats sitting sitting instead of applauding killing of terrorists sitting instead of applauding a girl being able to get opportunities in life because yeah. she doesn't have to go to a failing school. It, it,